so welcome back again so I just want to say one thing if you are following with me and doing the coding along with me uh, don't forget to include the, uh, the bootstrap CSS so in order for our models and uh, navbar uh, and the other bootstrap uh, classes to work you need to add the bootstrap CSS and and uh, for example for our model you, you, you need to add uh, the bootstrap JS so don't forget those those two things uh, jQuery we will be using jQuery later but it's optional now so just uh, make sure to include the jQuery before the if you add jQuery make sure to uh, include jQuery before the bootstrap JS so that's it so what we what we will do now is to start implementing the this this service and uh, we don't want we want to inject this here in our service no so we injected there and uh, the public and we start creating our pub public save product for example to database just to make an uh, what what it what this take will take will take a multi part file outside uh, we will we'll explain this what this multi part which is a file uh, sorry which gonna be a file then the name of the product which is a string name name and another string which is the description description and another thing which is the price and ends and ends which is price price so this is our it's nurture nothing void so that's it multi-part uh, file is the, the, the is the way we will be uploading our image to the it's a database we will be using um, something that's called a multi-part file so what we need here is to create a product so we'll just move this the this logic over here create a product and the uh, product set description which is the description product set uh, image we will see how we will do this and the product this need to be uh, well that's actually not the way we would do it so I will get back to it Product set name product set price so description we have the description here with this what is this description so and what we need here is something that's called uh, a string we need a string a string 
which is a file maybe with file name this file name how we will the, this actually will be a the the actual file and we will retrieve the file name from this actual file a multi-part file so it will retrieve it using string utils util dots clean you can see this method here clean path and we we give it the file original uh, gets original file file name so this is the this uh, and we can do here if for example we can pretty much do a lot of uh, pretty much uh, tests here to see if the, the file is valid or it's this the the former in the form of ones and a lot of stuff but we we won't do all, all of that we have a file file name give the file name dot contains if it's contained for example dot dot that mean it's uh, it's not a valid file uh, we can we need some exception handler here but uh, we'll just keep system on prints not a proper file not a good file not a valid, a valid file so it's, if it's contain these and now it's work let's move these here so what we have here is the this is the this this image is actually a string so what we will what we need to to do we want to to transform encode the image the image to a string representation so how we will do this do that is by using uh, something that's called a base 64 dots encode git encoder so we, we get not decoder git encoder this one uh, encode encode to string and it in, it takes a byte so it takes uh, so if you see this method it takes a string of bytes encode encode to string it takes uh, it's actually take uh, uh, an array of bytes so the, our byte here is the far gets bytes so that's it our file that uh, it's complain about surrounding this we need to, to to we need to surround it with a try catch catch so in this to, re to prevent to handle exception because there may th happen some exception here when we uh, encode the the image to a, to a string representation so that's it this how we will save our image and we will be back here and what we need to do is to inject our uh, let's keep this or open open y and uh, private uh, 
yes product service product service and uh, it's a product service and uh, what we will do here and see instead of uh, doing all this this year we will say that we will delete this and just write product 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 service dot save product and we pass uh, we pass the change description uh, where is the description uh, disk there is only disk here the file isn't here yet so we will include it it's the same requests um, and we the name of the we have it file there and it's gonna be a multi multi part multi part file it doesn't give the file it's complain yeah, let's just copy multi part oh, I don't give we can solve this problem by just copy this one we have here. Oh, I forget something here. And I'm gonna be back at it. Create. Why? Why can't? Uh, what what we forget he here is to save the products actually. So save the products. Save save entity. Entity is our products. So that's it for here. Uh, why we we got this problem? Uh, yes. So which uh, ah this one? So. This is our server side, so what we need here is in our form we have the file which is this is we have the same the, the name this it uh, let's uh, no we no we don't have the name here so we need to add a name call file so we can get our file here in the controller and uh, let's make sure that we have all, everything is all right disk so we didn't change this so it's all right and uh, what else you need to, we need to add this is the form we had the post we have the action and we add something very important which is ink ink type uh, what what we need to add here is the ink type multi-part form data so this is necessary guys 
you, you have to uh, to add this to the, the form here so you can upload the file here we have just one file so let's try it this if it's work wait for the compilation sorry I keep saying compilation because I'm familiar with the other language like C or C++ uh, here we say I guess I guess start in the service or something like that rather than compile so we we have already something here and phone for example I had already installed uh, download some image I need mean, to submit it's actually show here but so what we we see here is we actually inserted something to our database so insert product description image so if we go here to the database which is come on this is our product so you see the image which it's a blob and uh, now we need to display it here so in the list of products and uh, what we will do here in the list of products uh, we will get rid of the ID we don't need to display ID there so this we will name this image and uh, it, this is the that's all the product uh, and this all the product ID we don't need it here so we we'll delete it so we will create a, an image tag here and this source we will do th resource and like always and this and this and data so we will put an, an embedded image in our in our uh, HTML image image data image I guess it's a uh, something like this base 30 with a base 64 and plus our actual image which is product image uh, let's see and we will give it star a width and so we don't have the width give it 100 pixel the width and the height 100 pixel and let's compile recompile uh, relaunch our uh, reload ah we didn't get the image here so why ah we forget the, the type gp the GPG, I guess, UG. Uh -huh. Let's see with this. C 
sell nothing. I don't know why. Uh, well, so I guess we had a sun semicolon here missing. So this is the this is the actual how we need to be written. Uh, the image, the the type base we encode our uh, we encoded our image in the base sixty four. So base sixty four and semicolon. Uh, what was this? Not semicolon. This guy here and our image from the from the don't forget we return our our pro, uh, our list of image our list of uh, where, where where is it where is, uh, this one we return our, our list of the image so with uh, using thin leaf we produce this this is this is this is the product from the list so this is it so let's try to upload another image uh, and products something like this uh, PHP labs I think I don't know if that's right so let's choose that lab uh, here is it so we can add another one keyboard for example keyboard keyboard uh, price not very cheap um, whatever whatever and so this is it so see you guys next uh, next video will be adding some more classes and more entity to so because our 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 aim is to create a sample e-commerce uh, web application so we start developing the product then we need uh, for example another class which is the category of product and we will develop uh, stuff like that so see you soon